So the purpose of today's session is to provide a general warm-up routine for athletes to do to prepare for sport. Um, my name is Jose Collado. I'm a student at Southern Connecticut State University in the Human Performance Program. Um, we have, as our athletes, DJ. Just raise your hand. <laughs> uh, Sean. Laura. Edmund. And Sean. All right. All right, so the first exercise that we're doing is spinal rotations. All right, guys, so watch me as I get into the exercise first. All right, so I'm gonna bring my arms up by my side, and I'm gonna rotate my upper body as my back foot pivots and follows my upper body. So my chest and my foot are both facing the same direction as I rotate. Then I'm gonna rotate to the opposite side, and I'm gonna continue to do this. We're gonna do 20 in total, right? All right, you guys ready? I'm gonna jump my feet. We're gonna start facing that direction. We're gonna start facing that direction. We're gonna start. Ready, and jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we'll stop there. Normally we do it for 20, but for now those 10 is perfect. Good job. So the next exercise we're gonna do is jumping jacks. All right guys, just watch me as I demonstrate the jumping jack when we, um, Take our first jump, our legs come apart and our arms come up, and then when we go back in, our legs come in and our arms come right back to our side. Right? So we're going to do 10 total jumping jacks. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, guys. So the next exercise that we're going to do is squats. Alright, guys, remember when we do these squats, we want to pretend like we're sitting back into a chair. So our knees always stay behind our toes, all right? And we're never coming forward, we're always sitting back. So we're going to do five total squats. Five total squats, ready? And down. One, down. Two, down. Three, down. Four, down, five. Good job. The inchworm is a good exercise for getting athletes to move into different positions. So um, guys, I'm gonna show you what the inchworm looks like first. We're going to start as you, um, stretching down, and then as you reach the most stretch that you can get, you're gonna squat down so those hands are flat on the ground. Then we're gonna crawl out so that our hands are nice and straight and we're in a good push-up position. And then we're gonna walk those feet up to our hands and stand straight. If any of you guys feel uncomfortable doing this exercise, you can skip this exercise and just walk to the coast. So we're gonna do this exercise to the coast. First group, ready, go. Good. Make sure you keep those hands nice and straight when those feet crawl up. Hands nice and straight when those feet crawl up. When those feet crawl up, feet crawl up, feet crawl up, feet crawl up. Good, and stand straight up, stand straight up. Good, and then back down and walk forward. Good. Crawl those feet, crawl those feet. I'm gonna crawl those hands, and then those feet crawl up. You crawl up all the way up to your hands, all the way up to your hands. Good, and then you stand straight up. Good, back down. Crawl those hands out, crawl those hands out, crawl those hands out. Good, and those feet come up. Good, up. Okay. Forward, one more. You got it, Laura. Hands stay straight when those feet come up. Hands stay straight. Feet come up, hands stay straight. Good, good. Good job. The next exercise that we're going to be performing is the walking knee stretch. So when we do this exercise, we want to make sure that we're maintaining our balance while we bring our knee up to our chest. And we, we should feel a nice, soft stretch along the back of our thigh. All right? So we're going to take that one step, knee up, bring it to your chest, and take a step forward. Up to your chest and take a step forward. It should be nice and slow. Nice and slow. Alright? So, first group, ready. Go. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Two hands. I got that. Two hands. Good. Good. Nice and slow. Good job. Two hands. Two hands. Two hands. Good. Not bad. So, the next exercise we're going to be demonstrating is the walking knee pull. Um, some modifications can be made to this exercise if it's difficult for the athlete to maintain balance as they do it. 
So um, I'm going to demonstrate it for you guys, the walking knee pool. We just go ahead and bring our leg back. We're going to grasp our ankle and then just pull back. So you should feel a slight stretch in the quads. Pull back, slight stretch in the quads, right? It's really important that we pull and then take that second. Pull. So I'm going to help you guys out. All right, so uh, first group, ready? And go. One, pull, oh, you got it, same side. Two, pull back, pull back, pull back. Good. And one, pull back, pull back, pull back. Good. And we're going to switch to the other side. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Two, pull back. The next exercise that we're going to be performing is high knees. So when we do this exercise, it's basically the same as that walking knee pull without our hands and a little bit quicker. So we're just doing those high knees. First group, ready? Go. High, high, more high knees, high knees. Good. Good job. All right, second group, ready? Go. High, 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 high. Good job, guys. Perfect. The next exercise that we're going to perform are butt kicks. So uh, this exercise is very similar to the walking ankle pull, except uh, this one we're also performing without using our hands. So as we're going from the line to the cones, we're just picking up the pace and picking up. All right, first group, ready, go. Good job, Laura. Second group, ready, go. Get those legs up. Good job, guys. The next exercise we will perform is the lunge walk. Um, so when we do this exercise, just make sure that we're taking that nice big step forward so we have a good separation between our feet. And once we take that step forward, we are squatting down so I have a good angle in between my front leg and a good angle in between my back leg. Then I come back to straight center. Then I take my next step straight down. We're going to be doing this exercise all the way to the cone, guys. All right. So the first group, ready? Go. Nice and slow. Good job. Good job, Laura. Next leg. Always switching legs, Laura. Good. And keep that body straight. We always want to make sure that we're switching feet. Okay, Laura? All right, next group. Ready. And go. Nice and slow, guys. Squat down. Take a step and then squat. So stop right there and then squat. Okay, down. Go. Then next step, then down. Go. Good job, Lemon. Nope. We're right there. Good job, guys. The next exercise that we're going to be performing, and the last one for this warm up, is going to be the arm swings. So, when we're performing arm swings, we want to just make sure that our one arm is across the chest and the other one is totally extended, straight, pointing in the same direction as that first arm across the, uh, across the chest. Then we're going to um, switch nice and slowly, keeping that those arms nice and straight across that chest. Alright? You guys ready? So, we're going to start with arms facing this direction. We're going to do 10 total. Ready? One. Two, three, keep those heads nice and straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 